What is up you guys? It's Katya Bulks. Welcome back to my channel and another taste test review of products from the Lions Pack. Yes, if you haven't seen my other videos already, I've tried about just, well, just about all of the vegan cookie doughs from the Lions Pack because they are freaking amazing. And they recently came out with a new one, but then it was just one flavor. And I didn't want to just make a video for one. So I was like, hey, this is the perfect time to try some other things from the Lions Pack for you guys as well, because I know you would love to see that as people have requested it. So today, yes, they did come out with a new cookie dough flavor, which is banana chocolate chip. Mmm. Oh, I can't wait for that, especially now with like the banana, chocolate, legendary foods, peanut butter. That is so delicious. Like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. And then I picked up two other items that I have not tried before from them. One being, they have also powdered peanut butters. And this one is cookie butter flavor. So it's supposed to be like one of those like Lotus or Biscoff cookies, but powdered peanut butter, of course. And then we are also gonna try some of their pancake mix. This one is their apple fritter. So I'm really excited. And fun fact, I've actually never had even like an apple fritter donut. Even before I was like vegan or gluten free or anything, I never tried one. So let's see how the apple fritter pancake mixes. So I'm gonna take this downstairs Cook it up real quick, because with the pancake mix, it's super simple. All you have to do is just add whatever non-dairy milk. I'm just gonna use some like original like soy milk or something like that, whatever I have in my kitchen, just to like minimize any alter altering to the flavor. And then of course with the powdered peanut butter, mix that with water. This, serve it on a little dish. So yeah, let me cook it real quick. All right, there we are, super easy. Um, yeah, so I just cooked up the pancakes right here, got a bit of the cookie dough, and the powdered peanut butter, which I just mixed with water. So yes, I just mixed this, the pancakes, with some like unflavored soy milk. So they're, they're still a little warm, but this one was cooked first, so we'll try it out. Um, I did see that there were chunks in it when I was mixing the batter, so I'm hoping they're like, actual pieces of apple in it. Let's see, let me like try to see if I can break it apart or something. Oh, it's so fluffy and it smells so good. Yeah, looks like there's a chunk of something. Let's see. Mmm, mm-hmm, mmm. Oh my gosh, it's, yeah, it's soft apple. Mmm, this is so good. Oh, so the serving is like the two pancakes, and that's what I followed, so it's about 56 grams. And macros, two fat, 26 carb, and 12 protein. And if you wanna make more, and then just have like extra protein, you can get the mix, and then add like a scoop of whatever like protein powder you have, like vanilla, I would say, just so that you don't mess too much with the flavor, and then you can probably end up making like another one or another two pancakes. Mm. <laughs> I'm eating like this. Mmm. Wow. It's so good. Oh. I mean, that makes sense. I've always mixed sometimes, like, apples in pancake mix, so... Mm. Now it's just adding cinnamon into it, kind of. Mmm. Mmm. So delicious. Alright. I gotta try this cookie dough, because, oh. Your girl loves her cookie dough, and it's got chocolate, big chocolate chips in it, not like little mini ones. So, mmm, mmm. Okay. So, let's see. Yeah, it's definitely that like almost artificial banana flavor, which I don't hate, but I know not everybody likes. So. It reminds me kind of of the banana Laffy Taffy. That was actually like my favorite Laffy Taffy flavor. So for me, I do, I will, I don't mind the artificial banana taste, but for a cookie dough, it's kind of weird. I don't know. 
because like I would want it to taste more like banana bread so I would want it to taste a little more authentic that's just my perspective on it so I don't know I like it I do really really like it but it's a flavor that I don't think everyone's gonna like because of the fact that the banana is a little more artificially let's try here let me move this I want to try the powdered peanut butter I got a spoon so ooh. yeah I think I yeah I got the ratio pretty good of water to powdered peanut butter probably could have done a little less um, water just to make sure that it was thicker but yeah we'll see mm. it's more like powdered peanut butter but like a gingerbread close to gingerbread not quite it doesn't have like that allspice flavor but it has cinnamon gingery flavor I don't know maybe I don't really remember again what cookie butter has tasted like because I haven't had that in years since that's not gluten free and I don't know if it's vegan but I'm sure I can try it now that I've introduced gluten again in my diet mmm all right I gotta save the rest for the last pancake you know why not try it all together oh I should have saved the cookie dough nah I don't know. Cookie dough on pancakes? Is that a thing? We can make it a thing. Mmm. Mmm. Alright, here we go. Ooh, this one's nice and thick. Look at that. They come out thick and fluffy. They're so perfect. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. So since a bag has about six servings, Definitely what I'll do is like I'll use this for my work week and I'll prep them and I'll just like make them and put them in like little Ziploc bags, put them in the fridge and then pull them out and reheat them for the morning. So it's super easy to prep pancakes if you guys didn't know. Since I like to prep like my even my breakfast sometimes so oh my gosh. Mm. Alright, this turned into an unintentional mukbang. I'm going to finish this up and then I'm going to recap with you guys in a sec. All right, so my overall review on the Lions Pack, we've got the apple fritter flavored pancake mix, chocolate chip banana cookie dough, and cookie butter. They call it what? Lions Dust Powder Peanut Butter. I liked it. I really, really liked it all. I would say with this, I wish it had a little more apple to it, and maybe I can add in just like a little more cinnamon, but otherwise it is solid, super good. For the cookie dough, oh, freaking love it. But for those who don't like the more artificial banana taste, you may not like it. So just a little fair warning to you guys, because of course I'm just gonna give you guys my honest review. Um, and then the powdered peanut butter, I mean it was pretty good, but I think I just need to try cookie butter again because I feel like I don't remember quite what it tastes like to be able to compare it to this. So otherwise, I mean I did, like it I didn't dislike it and of course like the macros are great so if someone's a little more lower in fats powder peanut butter is an awesome alternative to go if you're someone who's like a nut butter freak like me and they have other flavors that I still have to try so I will have to give those a try as well so it's a delicious pre-workout meal because I'm about to go hit shoulders today that video is gonna be up next week so if you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when that video gets uploaded. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this review, please do give it a nice big thumbs up and let me know down below what other Lions Pack things you guys want to try. And if you would love to try these products out yourself, feel free to use my coupon code. It does help you save a few bucks. I know I have a coupon code, but I'm going to still give you guys my honest 100% review so don't worry if i don't like something i will tell you i love you guys and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video which will be a shoulder workout yeah see ya